what is going on? You know what day it is today. It's pump freaking month Monday. That's right. There's always something pumped going on on Monday. Well, first of all, you already know Monday sets the tone for the whole week. So if you got a good Monday or you make it a good Monday, you're more likely going to have a good week the rest of the week because it sets the standard. Anyway, we're here at this little granny yard you guys have seen before. Nothing special about it. Just a couple of zip zaps, a couple of wink, 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 and then some dust and then you're done it's that easy you know whoopish ninja is that easy I just pulled up and i figured i'd start the video i've already been uh, mowing quite a few since this morning i kind of started late again because uh i slept in and then then my uh pest control guy showed up spraying around the house inside the house so i ended up chit chatting with him and then at that point mama made uh lunch so to say and i guess early lunch late breakfast whatever you want to call it so I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm going to stay, I'm going to eat, and then uh, just Cadillac along. So doing good. I actually got this one and then a couple of more in this neighborhood. And then I think one or two more on the other side of town. And I'm done, and it's 4 o'clock. So I th I'm thinking probably like 5.36, 6.30 max, which is not bad. Not bad at all. I've been getting a lot of messages back and forth nonstop about starting your own business. How hard is it to get certain things uh, to get up and going? Uh, are certain things uh, more important than others so prioritizing certain things of uh, what you should do and what maybe you should do later when I kind of go into this I'm gonna maybe uh, there's some things that I might recommend but I'm actually just gonna tell you what I did okay and what I how I started and what I prioritized we'll talk about that also listen go ahead if you haven't you've got till August 24th sgninjas.com you got to get your GIE shirts by August 24th if you're wanting or planning on getting them because I think August 24th is the deadline and once that's it that's it it's a cut 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 no more and then that's when they'll all get um, ordered and shipped out so to say so you got till August 24th sgninjas.com okay you got to get them if you're planning on it uh, because that's the deadline and then of course don't forget new merch i have mentioned it to you in the last video we got a new shirt on there but there's also several other shirts that are in process and then a couple of uh, new uh, bottles and such and keychains and things like that and then of course we got the stickers and stuff but you know sometimes i have to turn off tiny because i know i'm going to be at the yard 30 minutes or whatever and it gets really hot in here but what i've noticed is oh yeah i actually leave this bad boy on I leave it on while I'm out there, even though Tiny's turned off, it circulates the air and it's not as bad as um, as it would be without it. So I do leave this on, like I'm not gonna worry about it now, but like in the next yard or two, when I know I'm gonna be there for a minute, I am uh, I leave it on and when I come in, not only as soon as I open the door, I have some air hitting me, but it's not as bad because it circulates the air. Did I just repeat myself? Big dick, you just repeated yourself. You said this how you break it down. Shut your mouth, ninja. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You know I'm just kidding. I'm in a good mood today, actually. I'm in, I'm in a really good mood today. I don't know why. I'm just in a good mood today. Maybe it's because it's Monday. Maybe it's because I'm making all this money. Maybe it's because I'm getting my yards done. Maybe it's because... Because I'm a ninja. This is by far, there's some water in here, by far my favorite string. I'm not even kidding. Okay. And it's the 0.95 titanium force. I also heard they have a, another one. I think it's called titanium force extreme, if I'm not mistaken. I'd like to try that, but... Uh, this is phenomenal. I'm going to show you how easy it is. If you get a cutter that actually works. Okay. If you get a cutter that actually works. I think on the first roll the cutter didn't really want to cut. Or we were doing it the wrong way. I can't really remember. But well, check this out. All you do is take the cutter. 
you bend the string just like that. You take the cutter. I know, right? See that? Boom. Done. All you gotta do is touch it. It's by far my favorite, but I'd like to try that extreme to see um, if it's any different from this besides the color. I think it's a color orange. I know this is uh, the one thing about this color only, the downfall, is that it's dark. And so when it's spinning really fast, it's really hard to see it. And it's really hard to tell sometimes how much you've got sticking out. Even though I can tell a lot of it by the sound of my engine, but I know a lot of people, dust. a lot of people uh, may not. So I would like to see them in different colors, but uh, the strength of it actually is phenomenal. You know, at that last job where I was just at, <clears throat> excuse me, I had a guy just stop me and ask for a quote and I told him, I'm sorry, I can't. I just can't. So there's constantly people. This just goes to show don't worry about how many companies are in your area. There's yards everywhere and people are constantly needing help. <laughs> I'm turning people down. I'm going to knock this one out. I'm not going to record here. I've also got a, a voicemail. Somebody just called me, left me a voicemail. So we're going to play it. You guys are going to be surprised. So let's get out of here. Okay, ninjas. All right. We're at the last yard of the day. You guys have seen it before. It's just a little clinic, dental clinic. I might record a little bit if I don't lose too much daylight even though you guys have seen it before <laughs> who cares but let's cover uh, some of these things before I lose daylight of what I wanted to talk to you about the first thing I did is I went and bought a push mower and I think I pur purchased like a Troy built weed eater and I ended up having I had a handheld blower uh, from a flea market I think uh, it was like $50 <clears throat> All right, so I had some form of equipment, something to get me going. The next thing that I did is I made flyers, and boy, I made a bunch of flyers, okay? So you gotta make flyers and get your name out there. Don't worry about, as I mentioned earlier, how many people are out there, how many other uh, companies are out there. People will not call you, they will not know about you, uh, they will not know how to call you if they don't know that you exist, is what I meant to say. So you, you got to get your name out there one way or another. Look, if you get one call out of a couple hundred flyers, that's good. That's really good. And if you get like just a couple of calls out of a thousands of flyers, that's still really good. Okay. You got to get your name out because once you start having people call you and you do a good job, most likely they're going to tell their neighbors or friends. And then next thing you know, you are developing a thing called word of mouth all right word of mouth is the best truly uh, especially if you do a good job people will recommend you but even if people don't recommend you keep throwing out those flyers so that's the first two things that i did equipment flyers now once i started actually getting some calls uh, i would go perform the services right i'd cut their yard and then people would be paying me cash or check now the next thing that i ran into trouble wise was the check that they started to give me, uh, they were asking me who do I write it out to. Now, I had an idea of my business name, but I did not put it into motion yet. I did not go to the courthouse. I did not go you know, to the city hall, wherever, every, every city, every state is different. So I didn't do that. So when they started to tell me who do I write the check out to, I started to tell them, just write it in my own personal name because that way I could take the check to my personal account. Well, that was fine handy dandy until I started to run into customers who did not feel comfortable to write their check into your uh, into my name, into your name, right? And the reason for that is not that they didn't trust me or anything like that. A lot of customers who may be running some form of a business themselves, they wanna have a reference that they are writing these amounts of these bills to a company so that way they can use that for a tax deduction themselves okay and that's what I ran into so I think I went for about almost a month with like stack full of checks no joke 
in Saving Green Lawn Care's name, but I did not have a Saving Green Lawn Care account. Now, I couldn't take those checks to my regular bank uh, because they wouldn't accept it. It's not made out to me, it's made out to the business. So I was actually forced, which I'm glad it happened. I, I it, it made me do it faster than I originally thought that I was gonna do, all right? I was kind of like, I don't know if this is really a, something that I'm gonna need to do so fast. So now I, here I go, I go to the city hall or uh, I, here we go to the courthouse, but uh, every, every state and city is different. And so it's very simple. Open up a business license, start as a sole proprietor. When you are starting out your business, you need to start as a sole proprietor. Don't get into the LLC, don't get into the whole S Corp. So don't do any of those, there's no need for that. You need to just do sole proprietor. It's the cheapest, but also the easiest way, cheapest and easiest way to get you started as a business license, uh, business owner, and also that way you can open an account. So once I did that, I had to take that paper, uh, which is at that point a business license, uh, and I had to go to a, a bank, whichever bank you go to, whichever bank you bank, doesn't really matter. And all I had to go, I went in there, I met with the person that I sat down with, I showed him my business license, I said, I need to open a business account. Here's my info, blah, blah, blah. And then they took care of it. And then all I did is I had a stack full of checks with me and I went ahead and deposited them all. So hopefully a lot of those customers weren't too upset, uh, but I was hanging on to their checks for about a month, month and a half, give or take. And uh, so the priorities that I would recommend to you ninjas, anyone looking into starting is get some decent equipment, of course, work with what you got, right? Whatever you can get your hands on and throw out flyers. So those are two things. The next thing is you need to get a business license. The fourth thing, I would do is look into some insurance, some form of liability insurance, because uh, you can definitely go out here and I have done it. I'm not hiding from this. I have done it. I've cut for a period of time with no insurance. Did I risk it? Yes, I risked it, but I also couldn't afford insurance. Uh, so as soon as you get some money saved up, go get yourself some liability package insurance. It, it's not expensive, but it is at first when you're for anybody starting out. But once you save up a couple hundred dollars, that you can go ahead and spend go ahead and get some insurance get some liability insurance that'll cover you up to like a million or two million dollars okay and that's god forbid if you break somebody's window card window or business uh uh you know glass doors windows whatever or even worse god forbid you're trimming or mowing and you fling a sling fling a sling a rock and you hit somebody who's walking by uh, in an eye and they end up having surgery or whatever it could cost a lot of money so you really need to have some form of insurance not to mention if you're trying to go into any kind of commercial uh, properties they require you to have insurance they will actually ask you 90 90 plus percent of the uh, business uh, companies will ask you to show proof of insurance. They want to make sure you are insured before they put you on their property so that way in case something does happen they know they're taken care of and covered. So equipment, flyers, business license, insurance. Okay those four things you do that you're set. Now can, after you do all those things continue to throw out flyers continue to get your name out there there you go that's what i would recommend that's what i did and it worked for me and i'm sure it'll work for you no matter where you are but you gotta hustle you gotta grind you cannot stop throw your flyers out there get your name out people know need to know you exist if people don't know you exist how the heck are they gonna call they're gonna call you who are they gonna call if they don't know you exist who are they gonna call your granny huh what are they gonna do with that phone call all right ninjas i hope you had a great pump Monday and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for Thunder Pumper Tuesday and uh, I hope all of you ninjas out there in the Ninja Nation strong you know Ninja Nation is real strong we're doing great things by the way in Ninja Nation the whole donation things is phenomenal we're, uh, we're starting to donate uh, for a cancer um, for children okay I've already donated 200 bucks of my own money I'm also gonna go ahead and uh, hopefully by this week end of this week and into the weekend I, I gotta find a day where I I'm not as busy but I will be sending out the uh, blower that I promised uh, to a fellow ninja so stay tuned on that and then we're gonna be doing that we're just it's all about giving back and involving the community look 
I'm happy to do it. I've been doing it. I've given away a mower and a, and a gas can, a push mower, and I've given away a car. I've given away a lot of things as I've started this whole YouTube journey. But, and I can continue to do that, and I'm only doing that for myself. I'm not doing it for any, any other reason. I wanna do it because it makes me feel good that I can do it, and I know what it's like starting out because I went through the struggles. I went through the hard times. I went without many, many times in this business. I actually went without even in my personal life, but that's a whole nother story for a whole nother, whole nother day. Why should I just show you guys what I'm doing? Why not involve everybody who's, who's willing and who can? I think it's important. And there's a lot of us who are, who are wanting to do it because you can and you wanna be a part of it. You don't have to. Nobody's forced to do anything. But you know what? It's a beautiful thing when we can come together and do this <clears throat> as a ninja nation, as a unity. And you know what? It's something different. Nobody else is doing it. Nobody else is giving nothing uh, back. And nobody else, nobody else is doing it. That's the thing. I want to give back and the ninjas want to give back. And this community, the ninja community is strong and I love it. And I'm looking forward to see where this goes and uh, uh, how it all turns out because so far it's been amazing. Love each and every one of you. I don't care who you are. If you're watching this video right now and you're listening to me talk, means you are curious and care enough to click on the video and watch. Like, dislike, comment, don't comment. I don't care. I appreciate you. Love someone. <laughs> Take care, ninjas. We'll see you tomorrow, but do enjoy the mowing footage. Peace! Voicemail ninjas, voicemail. Call me please.